Now we're going to turn to our weather warrior, Tony Lawback. He is back chasing storms, and after a two-week hiatus, Tony introduces us to some fellow storm chasers traveling long distances to see nature up close. Greetings! I am the weather warrior Tony Lawback, back in the saddle again and coming to you from the shade because it is freaking hot outside. After an amazing series of days across the plains to end May, the atmosphere and me took some time to recharge. But just like free convection, you can't keep a good storm chaser down. Final day before the two week hiatus was icing to an already overloaded cake. I intercepted a large, ground-shaking EF4 tornado north of the town of Abilene, Kansas. This was the 20th tornado in the van's first five days of service. It's a no-brainer to say that the van is probably a good luck charm, having seen nearly a quarter of the tornadoes in five days that my previous vehicle saw in five years. I am a very superstitious person when it comes to my storm chasing, hosting several good luck charms in my vehicle, including St. John Seymour Dumas McLean, named after the cities of his first four tornadoes back in 2007. We call him St. John McLean for short. And I certainly am not the only one who keeps such charms. These guys who came all the way over from Germany to chase here in the United States have a much more practical good luck charm with them. And he says, where do we go, George? And something like this and you say, ah, okay, then that's the right choice. He's been wet the last few days right. already, but fortunately no hail on the car. That's because only, only because of George. With my nature taking a lengthy mid-season vacation, I wondered if the van's mojo would still be there when things kick back up in June. The first chances of June required a very lengthy one-way drive into the Northern Plains. Over the course of three days, I drove from Southern Illinois up into North Dakota, eventually winding up on a storm in Southeast Montana. So it's taken me over 1,500 miles to reach this point, but we finally have a storm we're getting on. The question's gonna be, is it worth all the driving? This chase went into the books at 1,643 miles one way to basically smash out my windshield in a hailstorm I was in for a total of 10 minutes. I did have a repeat show the following day on a storm in Wyoming, but the van's tornado streak came to an end this week. Looking back, it's hard to say the week was worthwhile. After two quick hail encounters followed up by two stormless busts, I drove nearly 3,500 miles last week. But I get another small break in the weather, which will give me some downtime for repairs and maintenance on the van, along with a chance to recharge as the models hint I could be back in action as early as this weekend. Be sure to tune in next week for not only what the next seven days holds, but I'm gonna give you a look at my biggest superstition, the number 81. For News 3, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback, the Weather Warrior. Unbelievable footage there. Always an interesting find for Tony, that is for <laughs> sure.